The year 536 AD is considered the worst year in human history. From one day to the next, the sky darkened, temperatures fell, and harvests collapsed across the northern hemisphere. The Byzantine historian Procopius wrote, The sun, without radiance, shone only like the moon throughout the year, and gave the impression that it was almost completely eclipsed. Furthermore, her light was not pure and as usual. But since the sign was seen, neither war nor plague nor any other evil that causes death has ceased. Since a real solar eclipse can never last longer than a few minutes, Procopius's comparison must have meant an eclipse of the sun that had other causes and lasted much longer than an ordinary solar eclipse. The most likely cause of a weakening of sunlight for months or years is considered to be dust particles or aerosols that entered the upper atmosphere either through volcanism or the impact of a smaller celestial body on Earth. Can we prove this event scientifically? An analysis of tree rings shows abnormally low growth in Irish oak for 536, and after an incomplete recovery, a further sharp decline in 542. Similar patterns are also evident in tree rings of various tree species in Sweden, Finland, and California's Sierra Nevada, as well as in the Alerse in the south of Chile. So it was a global phenomenon. This is also confirmed by Chinese sources from the time, which report that in 536, Chinese astronomers failed to observe Canopus, the second brightest star in the night sky after Sirius. The tree rings also show that summer temperatures in Europe in 536 and 541 were 1.5 to 2.7 degree colder, colder than the previous 30 year period. The summers of the decade, 536 summer at 545 were, on average, possibly the coldest of the last 1,500 years. Today, the year 536 is seen as the beginning of a period called the Little Ice Age of Late Antiquity, which lasted until the year 1660. What was the cause of this climate catastrophe? Researchers suspect either the impact of a comet, or more likely, a gigantic volcanic eruption as the cause of this climate catastrophe. The comet would have had to have been about 500 meters in diameter, and it would have had to have exploded at an altitude of about 20 kilometers to cause this catastrophe. 10 to 20 times larger than the celestial body responsible for the Tunguska event of 1908. Today, however, the comet theory is considered rather unlikely. In an ice core collected in the Swiss Alps at Colleg Nifeti, a group of scientists found traces of rhyolitic tephra and volcanic glass pointing to an Icelandic volcano as the most likely source. This eruption recorded in the glacier ice matches that of the year 536. But other volcanoes such as Tavervur in Papua New Guinea, Krakatau in Indonesia, or Ilopango El Salvador are also considered candidates. What were the further consequences of this catastrophic year? Famine made people more susceptible to disease, and so the Justinian plague followed in 542, which wiped out around a third of the European population. This event probably also hindered the Justinian restoration of the Roman Empire. Some historians even link the rise of Islam a hundred years later to the climate anomaly, as it severely weakened the Eastern Roman Empire. In Scandinavia, many settlements were abandoned in the 6th century, in some regions 75% or more. On Uland, all of the 1,300 houses discovered so far from that period were apparently abandoned. Some authors therefore suspect that this time was processed in the Fimble winter of the Nordic Ragnarok saga. The decline of Teotihuacan, an important center in Mesoamerica, and one of the largest cities in the world in the middle of the first century is also associated with the climate anomaly. It wasn't until 550 years later that temperatures returned to normal, but the world would have taken a different course. Much of what we know about this year and the decades that followed is uncertain. The fact is that a global climate catastrophe has occurred, although the true causes have not yet been completely clarified. It is also difficult for us today to estimate the impact of this event on the further course of history. Europe and the Mediterranean region were already in a time of upheaval since the fall of the Western Rome, 
To what extent the little ice age of late antiquity influenced the further course of things, we can only speculate.